sitting here eating this carbohydrate overload in a box, I can't help but wonder, what would Italian grandmas across Italy be saying right now? Nikko, a major hub of Japanese Shintoism and Buddhism. The perfect spot for some stunning mountain views and home to the lavish Toshugu Shrine. I'm gonna be touring Japan for the next few weeks and this is my first stop. For every stop of my Japan tour, I have to complete a random travel challenge. I have this spin the wheel app where I have input all kinds of wacky, insane travel challenge that would be perfect for a trip around Japan. And today's challenge is find or create sushi pizza. But first, it's time to go explore Nikko. On the way, traveling up the hill to get to Nikko's amazing shrines, you'll first run into Shinkyo Bridge. Way back when, a priest was on his way to hike a nearby mountain when he found that this river here, known as the Daya River, blocked his way. When the priest prayed for safe crossing, the river god wheeled giant snakes to emerge out of the river to form this bridge. Today, the Shinkyo Bridge is known as the gateway to Nikko's shrines and temples. So my first stop is the Toshogu Shrine, but actually this isn't the Toshogu Shrine itself. I think this is just like a nearby shrine. I'm loving the tranquil vibes here. I've been here for about two hours doing my energy bending, which is like my own form of Tai Chi. And not a lot of people. The weird but also awesome thing is I'm surrounded by these pine trees. And then every so often just snow like will avalanche down from the top of these pine trees and it adds a bit of a beautiful snowy shimmer to the temple views all around. The Toshogu Shrine is truly magnificent. First, it's in 5D. The reason I say that is the decorations and the architecture and the way it's designed. It's so detailed and it like pops out at you. The Toshogu Shrine is home to over 5,000 sculptures. It was dedicated to the founder of the Tokugawa Shogunate, which was the government that restored order and unity to Japan between 1603 and 1868. However, Nikko has been home to Buddhist and Shinto worship since at least the 8th century. Now I've been to a lot of temples in my day, but the scene here is unlike any other temple I've ever visited. Firstly, I don't think I've ever been to a temple with snow and these golden snow topped roofs surrounded by pine trees and the sun, the lighting is absolutely perfect this afternoon. It has such a peaceful, heavenly feeling. The best way to describe it, it's like this place has been waiting my entire life for me to come here and for it to like shine its magical blessing upon me. God said, let there be light, and now, let there be sushi pizza. I am now on the hunt for my sushi pizza. You know, there are great things in this world that make amazing combinations, like burgers and fries. Two amazing things, amazing combination. But then there are other things that are amazing, but you put them together and they don't gel quite as well. Like for example, babies and sports, two great things, but don't exactly go together. Who knows, sushi pizza might be the newest great combination of great things out there. Sushi pizza ga sonzai suru to omoimasu ka? Have you heard of sushi pizza before? No, this is my first time I've ever heard of it. Sushi pizza? Sushi pizza. <laughs> 
so this the same dish and sushi, sushi and the pizza. Oh, no, sushi. Sushi. No. No. Pizza. No. No. Sushi. No. No. Sushi. No. No. Sushi. Pizza. No. 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 Sushi pizza. Do you think I could find sushi pizza in Nico? Yes, <laughs> yeah. maybe. Nico de sushi pizza wa doko ni arumasuka. So I just stopped by this, it's a Japanese Western Fusion restaurant. Just ordered me some pizza to go and then we're gonna head on over nearby and I think gonna get some sushi to go. We're gonna do a little a DIY mix and mash combination here. After picking up some sushi from the local family mart, and doing a little assembly. I was ready to put this challenge to bed. I am literally uh, squatting outside the Family Mart parking lot and I got my sushi pizza. It's pretty in one way, it kind of looks like a piece of art, but oh, some of the, some of the, the rice stuck to the box. Wanna take a piece here? Got that everyone? All right, here we go. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. That was a fish egg sushi. Ooh, now it's getting a little funky. As I was assembling the pizza inside the family mart, there is this Japanese family just laughing at me. Like, what the heck is that guy doing? The first few bites were actually not bad. Almost even, I'd say good, but I don't know if it's the texture, the rawness, but it's, it's wearing on me a little now. Overall, I'm gonna give it four out of 10. Not the worst thing in the world. Definitely not great either. I can't help but wonder, what would the greatest, old-fashioned, most traditional Japanese chefs be saying if they saw me right now? What would Italian grandmas across Italy be saying right now? What would my inspirational hero, Anthony Bourdain, say right now? Thankfully, they're probably not gonna find my video. I think it's about time to move on from sushi pizza. We still have yet to see the most amazing temple views in Nico. The snow is melting from the top of the shrine and then in the morning sunlight it just it shimmers it's just falling down which gives us this really cool like holy magical temple look it's really awesome. I've walked all around the shrine absolutely no one here it's just an amazing feeling. I mean, the best way I can compare it to is like, I've conquered some ancient holy land and I'm walking up to the center of the palace to seize the throne. Like that, except less, less gory, less violent. All right, folks, there's this line upon line of these the monk statues with these red hats and bibs just walking down forever these roads with no people. Here I am, just gorgeous view, waterfalls right in the forest with these snow-capped monk statues. And man, they, they come in all different shapes and sizes and different facial expressions. It's wild and it's something about it, they, they feel alive. Like not in a creepy way, in like a very kind of sacred, holy way. There are many different kinds of beautiful places in this world. There are flashy places that dazzle you the moment you arrive. And then there are places that on the surface look nothing special, but then surprise you when you discover that they're hiding something truly magnificent. Most of the amazing shrines I visited in Nico are inside this pine forest just on the outskirts of town. At first traveling to and from the town to the forest seemed like a hassle but the divine beauty of Nico's shrines and charming nature completely won me over and by the end of my visit to Nico I felt like this forest had become my closet to Narnia that I could open up whenever I felt like entering a whole new World. This is just the start of a several week long Japan tour that I'm going to be doing. So make sure to tune in for the next episode. On the next episode of my Japan tour. This is Tokyo's 24 hour subway ticket. And for the next 20 hours or so, I'm going to ride as many of Tokyo's subway stations as I can.